Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Gears 5. So before going inside of the game, we will uh, make sure that Windows is properly set up. So the first thing that you need to do is write game mode in your search bar. Open game mode. Make sure that game mode is at off. Really important. It was causing me some stuttering at on. After that, game bar, same thing. Make sure it's at off. And the last one is the capture. You want to make sure that background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. The other thing that I recommend is to use the software called Intelligence Tell by List Cleaner. For the past eight months, uh, if you have less than 16 gig of RAM, uh, Windows have a lot of issue with the purge standby list. So this software makes sure that you're, it's purging your standby list automatically so you don't like wait on Windows for that. Um, it helped me a lot before back in the days when uh, Battlefield 5 got launched and even The Division 2 had a lot of stuttering and I didn't know why. Uh, with the software, it solved all my issue. So it's pretty, it's low on resources, it's clean, no bloodware, virus and stuff like that. I will put the link in my video description. This is the same guy who do uh, DDU, so the software when you want to really uninstall all your uh, driver, GPU driver in safe mode. So a pretty decent software so now let's go inside of the game so now the parameter inside of the game uh, this game is pretty nice honestly you have a lot of different parameter that you can change so you can optimize your game uh, very nicely so uh, that's I really like the way they did it uh, honestly a lot of developers should like look at this game and do the same thing it's pretty cool uh, after that I will show you the config file because you, we have more option in the config file so we can still improve FPS so first of all make sure that you're playing full screen uh, you will lose FPS if you don't play if you play something like borderless or something else so make sure that you're playing full screen also don't go upscale with this make sure you're at 100% after all the changes that I will show you, if you still don't get whatever uh, what, whatever number that you want to, to have for your FPS, for example 60, you can lower this one, but honestly it will uh, decrease a lot your image quality, so don't go uh, like 95% maximum honestly, but because at 90 everything starts to get blurry. Vertical sync, uh, you can use it if you want or uh, put it at off if you want to see uh, the maximum frame rate with unlimited. Me, uh, I'm using it because I luck with my uh, monitor. My monitor is 144 Hz. Uh, so, yeah. Feel of view, it's more like a preference. I'm playing at 80, so nothing important. Let's go with texture uh, setting. If you have a pretty nice computer, uh, you can download Ultra Texture by click install here. Now you see you install because I have installed it, but make sure that you have 6 gig of VRAM and more. Uh, if you have 6 gig, 6 gig of VRAM and more, you can definitely put everything at Ultra. If you have something like 4 gig, uh, go with I. If you have 3 gig or 2 gig, go with Medium. And less than 2 gig, make sure everything is at low. Really important for all those parameters. Uh, the other thing that I want to tell you guys, world texture detail, normally texture doesn't affect too much your FPS, it's more about your VRAM, but this one affects your FPS, you can gain 1-2% to 2 for each bracket, so you can put this one at medium if you want, you will have a, a nice gain over there. Detail setting, detail setting it's not a huge boost, uh, but still, if you're playing your uh, character level of detail, it's like 1% one, one for each bracket. Uh, world level of detail, you will have like 2% for each bracket. Foliage level of detail, this one, if you put this one at off and you have like an old uh, GPU, I saw some nice improvement for uh, FPS. So uh, this one, definitely put this one at off. The main one is the shadow setting. Honestly, if you go with low off off, you can get 16% of increase <laughs> for your FPS. It's pretty huge. Uh, all those shadow setting in every game, honestly, it's always the same. Uh, when you lower those, you will get a lot of FPS. Um, the game will feel a bit weird if you put everything at low and off. So you can still like use dynamic shadow, go with something with medium, depending on your objective. But me, for me, I'm just telling you that, guys, because um, the shadows, uh, it, it's the main, the main thing that you need to change because uh, you will get a lot of FPS with it. Environment uh, settings, the first one, tessellation quality. This one, if you have an old M AMD car, go with off. Uh, if you have like a decent GPU, honestly, even if it's a mobile GPU, like something like a 10, 
50 mobile, uh, you should be fine with medium. Volumetric fog quality, this one you can gain a nice boost for this. Uh, for each bracket, you can gain 2 to 3%. So if you go with low, really important. Screen space reflection, crazy in this game. Put this one at off, another 6% for your increase. So really important. After that, post processing. Post processing, you will not get a lot of FPS. Uh, depth of field, first of all, I don't like this effect. It's more like a def an effect for a console. So, and you will gain FPS. So put this one at off. But those light shaft quality, lens flare, it's like more 1 to 2% uh, if you put them at off. So it's more like if you want to have them. I really don't like uh, the bloom quality and also motion blur. So I'm removing it. But I'm not getting more FPS with that. One last thing here. Normally it's uh, default by auto. I don't have any issue with it. But if you have a laptop and you have a dedicated GPU, Make sure that you're using the proper GPU, so change it. A lot of people sometimes are, are, are telling me, I, I don't know why I just had like 12 FPS when I played this game, and they're running the game on their uh, integrated GPU on the Intel processor. So make sure here that you're running with your dedicated GPU. So that's about it for the graphic parameter inside of the game. Now let's go to the config file. So now the config file. To find the config file, you need to go to the C drive, users, the name of your computer, app data, local, Gears 5, saved, config, PC, and after that you need to open the game user setting. In the game user setting, you have all the parameters that you saw in the game and also more options if you want to change it. So first of all, if you put a lot of stuff at off or low, normally you will see some zero in your number. So for an example here, view distance quality, we didn't see it in the game and technically three mean ultra or I, so you can lower this for sure so you can put two or one and you will improve a lot your fps because view distance quality it's really uh it, it takes a lot of resources also really cool thing uh, i re remember me a starcraft back in the days you can lower the audio quality if you have like a low-end cpu you can go with two or one it will help you uh it will help your cpu but this is more like a, a stretch honestly uh, but still, you can do it if you want. Uh, if you didn't uh, remove the screen space shadow, uh, the screen space, um, because uh, inside of the game I saw, I showed you guys that put this one at off. But if it's not at off, you can't lower the shadow quality here. Very really important. And uh, yeah, all the the other stuff are pretty much in the game. You have also the footstep effects that you can lower a little bit if you want, and uh, a lot of different options for your HDR. If you have like an HDR screen, you can tweak your stuff here and if you don't have an HDR screen make sure it air it's at false randomly uh, the game no man's sky uh, me was at true and I was losing like 30 FPS because of that don't know why because I never had like a HDR screen before so yeah that, that's about it make sure that this one is at fault so that's about it guys if you have any question just come in, in the youtube section post me your rig so cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Peace.